new atheists such as Richard Dawkins and Lawrence Krauss and I are obviously on opposite sides of a very big and important question, the question of what can science tell us about the reality of God. But I, I'm in a very real way indebted to the New Atheist writers. They've done a very good job of framing issues really clearly. Dawkins has a special talent for that. Uh, Lawrence Krauss has, has done a terrific job of that in his book, uh, Universe from Nothing. Uh, and I had the opportunity to debate Krauss and in the preparation for that debate, I got to do a deeper dive on the physics that lies behind Krauss's idea that you can explain the universe from nothing. And as I got deeper into the physics, I realized that not only had Krauss not explained the universe from nothing, but that the physics that he had invoked subtly implied the need for a pre-existing mind to account for the origin of the universe. And at that point, I realized that the argument for design that I'd made in biology had a perfect counterpart in cosmology and physics. And I realized it was time to write something that I'd been chewing on for a very long time, that evidence from biology, physics, and cosmology converge to help us answer the question, what can science tell us about the cause of the ultimate origin of life in the universe? And what can we learn about the identity of the designing intelligence responsible for life in the universe?